Hi, friends. I have some wonderful news for all middle and low-income Americans. There are a few new there are a few new relief programs that the Biden administration plans on using to send out more stimulus relief money to Americans that are financially struggling at the moment. Lawmakers are now interested in extending and boosting stimulus benefits to help people during this crisis. Remember, friends, that I'm here every single day to help you stay up to date on all fourth stimulus check and Social Security news in Congress. I am 100% committed to being your daily advocate because I want to support all seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries as much as possible. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and also with your friends. If they need more honest stimulus news, please watch until the end of this video to learn who the winners are of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway. What all of us are trying to do, and we've heard it over and over again this afternoon, is fight for working families, fight for justice, fight for the progressive vision that this country and world needs if this country and if democracy and if decency is in fact going to survive. Uh, and I want to just take a second uh, to make everybody remember uh, and appreciate and take pride in how far we have come as progressives uh, in recent years. We sometimes take it for granted. But as Katrina indicated, uh, I helped found way back in 91, the House Progressive Caucus. And frankly, never in a million years would I have dreamed that it would be as strong and as uh, effective uh, as it is today. And I want to congratulate Pramila and all of the folks uh, in the caucus for the enormously important work uh, that they have done and are doing. And also, and Katrina made this point, is that to the consternation of corporate America, and in fact, the corporate wing of the Democratic Party, we have significantly changed political consciousness. In so friends, the federal government has approved emergency allotments every month since March 2020. According to government officials, this gives SNAP recipients additional support during the crisis the great news is that in February, hundreds of thousands of SNAP households will receive millions of dollars in extra food benefits. This is in addition to the regular SNAP benefits. Emergency allotments will be available on February 11th for current SNAP households. New SNAP households will receive the emergency allotments on February 26th or March 2nd. Friends, it's important to remember that these benefit deposit dates may vary depending on your state government. SNAP recipients do not have to take any action to receive these supplemental benefits as they will be issued directly on your EBT cards. The SNAP benefits provide nutritional assistance to children and families, the elderly, the disabled, the unemployed, and also working families. So friends, I'm really excited to see that the federal government is taking action for Americans are financially struggling because of this crisis. I encourage all of you to apply for SNAP benefits if you have not already for more additional financial support during this very difficult time. Now friends, for those of you waiting for a fourth stimulus relief package, please know that our lawmakers in Congress have already begun negotiations on this next round of stimulus payments. So a group of Senate lawmakers, including both Democrats and Republicans, are discussing the possibility of another economic stimulus package amid the crisis. Democratic Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland and Republican Senator Roger Wicker of Mississippi both have already held conversations with stakeholders on additional relief for Americans and several businesses that continue to be impacted by this crisis. This package would include restaurants, gyms, and performance venues. The discussions come after Congress passed President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus relief package, which included $1,400 stimulus checks for many Americans 
money for states and municipalities, schools and small businesses, and an extension of weekly unemployment benefits. It also included an increase in food stamp benefits, rental support for low-income households, and additional subsidies for Affordable Care Act policies. It also included a $28.6 billion restaurant revitalization fund to help support restaurants across our country who were facing closures in the industry that operated on thin margins. That fund ran out earlier this year, and as this crisis has continued to rage, many restaurant owners have been forced to close their doors once again. I strongly agree with Congress passing a fourth stimulus package to help support Americans right now. So friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. For right now, states and localities are still sitting on $90 billion from the American Rescue Plan Act that was passed last year. This means more relief money is still available for Americans to claim. And according to many economists, states and cities are slated to receive $150 billion more later this spring. Schools also received $120 billion from President Biden's American Rescue Plan Act, much of which may have not been spent yet. Economists told CNBC News, We're not going to fix this crisis by that American Rescue Plan Act money sitting in a bank account. We're going to fix the crisis by that American Rescue Plan Act money getting spent, and there's a ton of good ways to spend it. One way that states could help is by providing paid sick and family leave to workers right now, since federal measures have since expired. While some states like New York do this, more states could add these programs to help alleviate the burdens of this crisis. States could also create one-time payments for its residents. It is also possible for them to boost unemployment insurance. Though large-scale efforts would still need to be handled by the federal government. That is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for everyone who is here with me today. I greatly appreciate all of you. The winners of this week's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway are Rita McClooney and Becky Millward. Congratulations, friends! So friends, if you would like to enter next Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and click and like my videos. And also, please share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so much everyone and have a very, very blessed weekend.